I'm going to show you guys how to complete your color wheel uh, for this week's lesson. If you are not here in class with me, um, I have sent you all a um, handout in an email. And so it will either look like this or I'll have an attachment. And what I'd like you to do is to save that image. Just right click it, save image as, and then go to your art folder and save save that in there and just call it color wheel and you can see that I have several so I'll just do that and save it into your folder that way then what I would like you to do is go to your search bar down here and type in fresh paint if you do not have fresh paint you just simply type it into here it'll show up in the app store and you can download it the school allows for that so then I want you to open that app and I want you, you can either go here and import this way or you can go to this little box here and you're going to go to import photos and then you're going to go to find files and it should be in that art folder that we just put it in and if you need to you can always do a little search on the bar and it should show up right there so here's my color wheel what I have found out, okay, so it comes up like this, so we can rotate our canvas and it's a little more like what we're used to seeing, so we can do that. We're going to start to paint. And what I found out, you're going to have this little set of tools, it's really cool, you can do all this. Um, what you need to do before you start it all is all of this black on here, all this lettering, it's reading as a paint and we do not want that to blend into our colors so you're going to go down here to the little fan and you're going to hit the fan two or three times like this and it's going to dry that black paint so that it won't blend into your colors so you're going to take our little toolkit over here and you can move it around however you need to and we're going to fill in our primary our secondary and our tertiary colors so we're going to click on this little wheel and it's going to be our color picker and so our primary colors are red so I'm going to pick red and let me go to a little paintbrush here and I'm going to take just a really thin little paintbrush then I'm going to pick my red again and then I can write in red using my color All right. then I need to clean my brush because I don't want to pick up that red that I just used so I just go in here and I dip it into the water and it's clear now I need to go over here again and I'm going to pick up the brightest yellow I'm going to pick this yellow here and then I can literally if you want to just for the sake of demonstration we'll just put a Y in there and then just keep going back make sure that you are cleaning off your brushes in the water you can make your brushes wider and thinner if you change this here on the scale so then my last primary color is this really nice bright intense blue and we will just put blue, put blue here blue make sure I'm on my brush just click around on it. That's the fun part of this, is that you can really do a lot of cool things. You will be using this as um, your painting surface because you're not going to be in class. So we're going to use this for probably a couple of weeks. So your secondary colors, if I mix red and yellow, I get orange. Okay, let me go back to my brush, make sure I have it. I'm going to get my, let's see if this will work, orange here, and then I'm going to clean off my brush again, clean that off, and then my other secondary color, if I mix yellow and blue, I get green, so I'm just going to put a little green dot in here, and then I'm going to clean my brush, important, and then I will get a purple color, which it, purple and violet are the exact same things. So you can fill it in like that if you'd like to. Your tertiary colors, your tertiary colors mean three. 
your third colors. Oh, that's really big. Okay, and then, so that would be when you mix red and orange, you get red-orange. Um, so you could go in here and you can maybe pick a red-orange if you'd like. Maybe in here, and then we'll put a little dot. You can get a um, blue uh, blue-green. So find a really pretty blue-green in here maybe. Let's see. Blue green, and then you get a red violet. So something in here. So you will fill in your tertiaries that way. And please reference to the um, the handout that is in your um, notebook right here. Let's see, right here. If you're using just color pencils, this is how you get started. Here, there's a video right here. If you're at home and you don't have access to any of that, then this fresh paint is a really nice option for you. So if I want to make sure that these aren't going to like get mixed up, I'm going to hit it with the fan again just a couple of times so they stay put. And then what you're going to do, there's instructions here um, of how to fill in your color wheel. So the outer ring all the way around is the pure color, not mixed with any blacks or whites or complements. The inner ring right here will be if you add its complementary color. So a complementary color is the color that is directly across from the color on the color wheel. So the complement to red is green, the complement to blue violet would be yellow orange. That never changes, that it's always the same. The third ring here, all the way around, you're gonna add a little bit of black to it. And then this inner ring, you will add white to those colors. Um, so what we're gonna do, let's start with our purest red that we have and just scroll over them, it'll tell you the name of the color. I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush and I'm gonna pick up a paintbrush that I think is a good match for what I'm doing. I can scale my paintbrush up and down if I like. And then I'm going to paint my entire wedge with this color like this. And then I have this back. I'm going to clean out my paintbrush. And then I need on the second ring, I need to add its complement. So the complement to red is always green. And I already have a green pulled up. Or I can come over here to the color picker and then I can pick up a green. The trick to this is don't add a whole lot. Just kind of dab in some color. Let me go back to my paintbrush and pick up doesn't work, just click around. It's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up the green. There we go. And then in this little one, I'm just going to put a couple dabs. And then I'm going to pick up a nice clean brush like this, clean it out. And then I'm just going to use it to blend, blend these colors together. And when you mix red and green, you get brown. Okay, so play around with that. If I, if you need to pick up more color, and pick up more green and put another dot in there. There you go, and then go back to your blender. Make sure that it's showing up here, that's kind of clear. And then I'm going to blend some more. You can actually get rid of, if you go into the other one over here, you can click on that and maybe get rid of, oh, maybe not, okay. so. Um, what I would do is dry that a little bit. Well, we don't want to dry it all. We're going to add some black. I mean, play around with this. Do the best you can. It's not a perfect option for what we're doing, but it is an option for you to at least get the idea of how to paint. Okay? Let's go ahead and go to this one. Let's get on black. And then let's see. Just put a little dab of color. Again, just click around, click around, and hopefully it'll work. And then I'm going to do some white in here. See if we get some white to pop. All right. Let's go back to our paintbrushes. Let's do our white. White. And we're going to add a little, few little dots of white in here. Oh, I'm still on this, maybe. Okay, so 
move around. I'm going to go back to here and see if that will work. And add some white to this brush in here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to print it out, add a little black, and I'm going to click the black in here. Okay, don't add too much. Rinse out your brushes. Blend them in. Again, play around with this. It's not going to be perfect, but it is an option. And then I need to blend that white into my red. If I need to dry it, dry a little bit. And then move it around. Okay, so just fill it in. Click around. It's not a perfect option, but it is an option. And refer back to your um, color wheel in your class notebook for that. When you get done and you want to save it, just go to this little save. And then you will go back to your art folder. And then you can title it Color Wheel Complete. Save it. And then I would like you to make sure that you email a copy to me. So go back to your email, attach it. me go here I would just go to this little picture copy here that'd be fine and then you're going to go back to your art folder look for your color wheel complete there's my unfinished one, but I'm going to pop it in there and then you're going to send that to me. Okay? So, get that done and I'm going to send you another video of how to blend your colors and make a color and value chart and that will come just a little bit later. So, be, please be checking your emails.